this is Renee with Merkel. I am one of your customer assistance slash tech support representatives here today. And we kind of want to go through and show you, um, go through the menus of our Power Core series. This will be our Tech 10, our MPC 10, and our MPC 20. So right here, I got one of our test units and we're going to kind of go through and demonstrate how to scroll through the menus and get you guys set up for your application. So our first step to where we're going to do is once we power on, you'll be greeted with your menu screen. On this case, I have the stop switch active, so I am going to release, and then I'm gonna do a reset. And then as we load up, we'll take a look at our buttons. So here we have manual start, manual stop, auto, uh, disable your alarm, RPM up with the little rabbit, RPM down with the little turtle. And then we have our button interface here, Multiple lines will be our menus. This will be your back. Select up, select down, enter. So for this demonstration, we're gonna hit our menus. And you'll be prompted with to enter a passcode. In this demo, we're gonna use our passcode 3482. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. Three, I'm gonna hit enter. Four, enter again. Then we just kind of scroll in and once we get to our password, will be taken to this next set of screens. So from here, we can kind of go ahead and configure our unit to our certain application. If this is a first time purchase and you want to set up a couple of key things, you can go in our system. It'll allow you to set the date, the time, units of measurement, your language. You can adjust brightness, parameters, and backlight control. That'll be one of our menus for today. So we're gonna go ahead and enter this again. And then you also have a couple of menu options for your engine settings. From here, you can select your engine type, whether we are J1939 or mechanical, sorry. you can select your engine manufacturer. And once you select your engine manufacturer, this controller will do an auto um, configuration to where you can get started up and start your engine up and running depending on your manufacturer. You can also select your engine emissions, your speed source, whether we're doing this through a CAN bus system, through a magnetic pickup using your flywheel, or we're using it off an alternator. From here, you have minimum and maximum engine speeds, and this will tell the controller, this is our target range for this engine. So right here in this demo, we have it set up to 700 RPM, which will be our low setting. On this high setting, we're sitting at 2200 RPM, and these can be both adjusted accordingly depending on your situation. Again, we have a warm-up speed. Warm-up speed is gonna allow the engine to run at a higher RPM for a little bit longer. Once we hit that, desired cooling um, window, then the engine will uh, slowly rotate back down to its designated low speed. You can go through and set up your warm-up delay. So on this demo, we have three minutes, and this will mean we're gonna, three minutes, we're gonna run at 900 RPM until we get to our desired temperatures. Same thing with cool down speed. Um, so the engine is going to run at 900, P 900 RPM to cool down to fully shut down. And you also have a delay for a cool down to shut down. Then in our advanced set engine settings, this is where it kind of gets a little nitty gritty. Um, you'll be asked for your ECU source address if we're running a J1939 system, and these will be provided through your engine manufacturer. We have crank attempts, which is allowing this controller to run, to try to crank three times before we get into an alarm state or a shutdown state, meaning we have to turn off the system, wait a couple minutes, and then we can go ahead and try again. Crank disconnect speed. So as we're cranking our engine, we are going to run at 500 RPMs to let the engine know we're spinning, we're doing all this, and then once it cranks, it's gonna drop off go to that warm-up speed that we have set at 900 RPM. Run to destruct is a very um, kind of 
certain certain scenario applications. Run to destruct will allow this controller to ignore all shutdowns, warnings, and just run to essentially destruct the engine. Once that happens, it's based on customer discrepancy to run to destruct. We do not recommend it unless the application needs it. And then you kind of go through, set down your timers. We have our auto start delay here, stabilizers, crank time. This is set at 10 seconds, allowing the engine to crank for 10 seconds at 500 RPM to try to get a start on it. Then we have a 10 second crank rest, so allowing you 10 seconds between each crank till we can try again. And from here, warnings and shutdowns. And this will allow you to set your parameters. So if we have a low oil shutdown at 10 PSI, then our engine is going to shut down from there. We will get a warning at 15 PSI letting, letting us know we're dropping in oil pressure and this will be the same for coolant temperature, oil temperature, and so forth. And you kind of go, just go through and be able to set these accordingly to your application. And then, let's see, is it this? Then we have our throttle. It allows you to select your throttle type. This demo we have J1939, so we're using it based off the CAN bus data. If we're using a mag more magnetic, we can go pulse increase, decrease, or we can do none if we're not using this as a throttle controller. And we have our next option, input outputs. This will allow you to set both your digital and, and, and analog inputs so you can configure your application to this controller so everything is reading accordingly and you get the necessary data for your application. And then you have a second menu to adjust your timers and stop timers accordingly based on your application. And that's kind of ba the basic breakdown of how to go through and configure one of these Tech 10 controllers or power core controllers to you guys' applications. And if, ever, if anybody ever needs any assistance, you can go ahead and contact us at sales at or you can give us a phone call at 661-272-4700. Thank you.